Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario 3D Land. Last time we began World 3 by taking on the first two stages and ignoring the Toad House directly to my left. In this episode, we are going to be finishing up World 3 hopefully, although to be fair we have four stages in total in this episode, so it'll be longer than the other episodes probably, depending on how fast I speed run through these levels. But without any further ado, how about I just jump right in because... Yeah, <laughs> why not? So here we go, stage three, world three, and now we're in Bubble Land! Oh, it's so pretty! Oh. Okay, uh, man points being lost aside, let us hop up here because... Luckily, I have my Tanuki suit, one of these cogwheels that we can hit with our tail all the way up. And there is a warp pipe for us that we can go down. And inside this warp pipe are coin blocks. To, you know, typical. But, uh, can I? Come on, thank you. But there's an extra catch when it comes to the coin. Oh, oh we got a one up, that's nice. But. What I want is that star metal, thank you. Oh, jeez. Uh, you can screw yourself over of getting the star metal if you destroy the wrong brick blocks. So, yeah, be very careful. You can tell that there's a star metal there because of the big shadow. Anyways, hello, Chain Chomp. It's nice to see you here. And we can destroy you for coins, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. There is a star. Let us go run for it and grab it, and then run with our hands, freely roaming in the wind, even though it's not really windy. This is a Mario game. There's not really any wind physics, unless you're counting Super Mario Galaxy. But hey, we got a one-up just now, which is awesome, by destroying the bees with the star. And now, let's go collect these red coins for a one-up. Alright, we are flying right through here. We got the halfway point flag just now. Excellent. Okay. Right here, there's this little beaten path to the left with solo jumps of these donut blocks. And then there's this section of, like, an actual donut made of donut blocks with some bees. You want to wall jump up here with a uh, three different 10 second time uh, interval things that you can collect, time clocks that you can collect. And your prize for doing so is another star medal. Your second one, in fact. I'm gonna ignore you for now there, Chain Chomp, because I want to go into the binoculars. Hello, Toad. What do you got for me? You have a star medal. Of course you do. It's either a star medal, a mushroom, or a one-up. Always with you Toads in your binocular zooming. Anyway. So that's our final star medal over there. Let us float to it. There we go. And something I really want to show off, you can skip that uh, warp block completely and then go in this one and take it to <laughs> just do it again, just to have a bit of fun, which I was going to, I wanted to show that off. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And there we go. Let's make our way up here and get the top of the flagpole. Alright, there we go. I'm still upset that we haven't gotten the confetti or... No, I think we've gotten everything but the confetti, right? I think so. And I think you need to have one second as the last digit on the clock in order to get it. So I'm gonna purposely try to get one, the one, the number one, in the final digit of stage four here. So without any further ado, let's hop in. Oh, this stage, okay. I really like this stage. I really like the music, more so than other aspects of it. But still, I really like this stage. And no. Oh, I'm thinking of it over here. Tanuki suit. I want two Tanuki suits. And I also want to hit these in succession with each other. There we go. Okay, 100 seconds that... Did I just screw myself? Oh no, I just screwed my- I can't get that. 
I can't get that now. Please. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't get that. No. I have to die. Oh, no. All right. You know what? Yeah, we're doing it this way. We're doing it this way. I could finish the stage. I want to get all the star medals in one go. I don't want to come back into stages. I mean, I have. if I only had, like, four lives, if my, live count, if my life counter got reset every time I quit the game, then I would not have given up a life for that. But I have 150 lives. Come on now. Of course I'm going to take it. Okay. Let's hop up here. Come on. There we go. Now, grab the star medal instead of... Oh, uh, God. Thank... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just uh, gonna ignore that ever happened. Uh, let us make our way through here. I think this is just coins. Yeah, that's just coins. Alright, into the warp box we go... Actually, I'm surprised I actually got that. I thought I would have to, you know, uh, jump or whatever again. Okay. Another coin heaven! Musical block, the rainbow music block, take me to coin heaven, and let's go grab our second star medal at the end of the clouds. Alright, there we go, perfect. Let us go get this one up in just a second, right now, perfect. And star medal obtained, second star medal of three, and now we are at the halfway point, directly beyond that uh, coin heaven block. Alright. Let us avoid the fuzzies as much as possible. Bonus uh, Super Leaf right here, if you need it. If you've lost one, or if you had a Fire Flower. Y yeah, there's just an extra Super Leaf for you to have. Alright. Uh, these boulders I find really cool. They give you an extra coin if you want one. It's just a neat little bonus thing. It's not really too detrimental to gameplay, but I wanted to show it off anyway. Alright. So, there's a mushroom in between these fuzzies on that rope, but more importantly, more music lessons! Duh. And we got it. One up. And also, you wanna get on this question mark block. Don't dilly-dally around. Don't get under it and hit it. Because this is how you get the final star medal. Perfect, there we go. And we skipped a whole other section of the stage because of it, but hey, I'd rather skip a uh, part of a stage and get a star medal than to miss out on a star medal and have to come back. So hit the question mark block uh, under the tightrope in the perfect spot, such as right here, and then grab the top of the flagpole. All right, there we go. That does it for stage four of world three. I don't know, it's really bothering me right now though, seeing those uh, green question mark, uh, question mark uh, buttons on world one and world two, because the toad houses have some street pass in them and it's, it's just bothering me just a teeny bit. Anyway, another unlockable level this time, you need to have 15 star medals in order to unlock it, and it just so happens, I have three times as much. So, let us press A, let us unlock it with 15 star medals, and it's time to head to Cookie Country! Let's do it! And it's an auto-scroll stage. This is probably my least favorite stage of World 3, just because, you know, you need to rely on these graham crackers in order to maneuver through here. So, yeah, anyway, Super Leaf right there if you need it. Let's grab that Star Metal right now. I want to be as comfy as possible as I can be, because there's this one Star Metal coming up here that is, uh... Yeah, it's uh, right here. Oh, come on. No, no, no. <sighs> that, that right there, that sucks. That really sucks. 
that completely sucks. I hate this is that's why this is my least favorite stage. That second star medal is so bad, and now I have to recollect the star medals again. <sighs> I hate this stage for that reason alone. <sighs> okay, I gotta keep my cool. Let's let's keep it cool. Get as much. Uh, why am I even doing this? Uh, no. Come on. Come on. No. Again. Ah, oh, this is why I probably should have done stage three in the last episode, because now this is going to be a very supersized episode. This is probably going to last like. Can, can I even? Thank you. I was going to say. Are you even gonna? Am I going to be completely stuck under here? That would have been so bad. Uh, oh, go. You know, just. Whatever. Game, you are not- you're not doing me any favors. I'm not appreciating this game. Okay. I should probably take my time. Actually, this is perfect right here. Huh? No, I- <sighs> And now I have no backup to Nuki Suit. Oh my god. Okay. I need to- re I need to rely on myself for this. Okay. I only got one Tanuki suit for this. I don't have a backup anymore. I only I only really get one shot. <sighs> All right. I need I need to become calm. That this is the reason why I'm losing this right now. It's a it, I mean it's not too troublesome to actually do. Look, look, come on. No, come on. Yes! Oh my god. I thought I was going to fail that for, I think, what? That would have been the third time failing that, maybe the fourth. I did it. And right beyond there is the halfway point. Thank goodness the halfway point's right there, but also not yay, because look at this type of uh, auto-scroll. Very interesting. Not something I appreciate, given <laughs> my current circumstance, but, you know, eh, it is what it is. Alright, extra coins. Oh, God. Uh, where am I? Uh, get that star medal. Oh, goodness. Okay. And get into the warp box. There we go. All right, this is the end of the stage, and this is funny. Graham, no, no, no. Oh, God. That's gonna make this a little di- eh, Never mind. I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult than it was to get the top of the flagpole because of them moving to the far side and disappearing off. They will disappear off of the screen. So, you do want to try to get the top of the flagpole as quickly as possible, especially if you were like me and you did have the Tanuki suit. But we did it. We got it. We're still golden. Really golden, because we still, like, we have a streak of getting the top of the flagpole. Anyways, another airship level to finish off a world. Without any further ado, let's do it. All right, here we go. And we've got some skewers that we need to watch out for in addition to some bomb bombs. All right. Let's be careful. We need to be extremely careful. Okay. Right here. Star medal number one. Make sure we avoid the skewers as much as possible. All right. Go, go, go before it resets. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Watch out for these spike balls shooting out. Alright. And they will they will change their positions, as you see. So, if you're directly in front of them, you need to watch out. Halfway point. And more binoculars. Alright. Let's see. Oh, oh, the skewer, you're blocking my way, sir. Star metal. Got some bomb bombs right there. Well, a bomb. Oh no, no, there is a second one. There he is. I can barely see him there. And hey, look, there's a yellow toad, and he's gonna give off a mushroom. Of course you are. All right. Well, at least we, at least we have a backup, in case, just in case. 
Alright. Alright, bob um, you need to explode. Preferably, don't go around those boxes, because I need to have, you know, myself intact. But we did get a fire flower from that, so now we have an extra power-up. Now, we also need to be careful of the skewers. Okay. Oh no, this is gonna be bad! Oh god. Okay. Take a, take a breather here, because there's a lot of skewers that are after us right now. And also, you might want to hold left. Long jump. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. All oh, those skewers are so dangerous. Alright, Tanuki Suit. You're gonna need it for precision precision jumping. Hooray for words. Uh, there we go. To grab that. Alright, I'm staying right in the middle for one more round. Because the, the skewers are they're gonna keep coming. There's no way around it. Long jump, long jump, long jump, long jump. It feels so slow, but there we go. We avoided. We avoided it. Alright, and up here. Come on. No, no. Jump. No. Jump. Jump up. Thank you. Mushroom. Just in case. Is there anything over here? No, there's not. Alright. Alright, let's head through the warp pipe. And let us prepare to face off. Against Boom Boom once again. Alright, Boom Boom. This time you're on some conveyor belt, so this isn't really good for me. Uh, no, can we, come on, hit Boom Boom, thank you. Alright, that's one hit down. It's, yeah, it's not really good with Boom Boom being fought on conveyor belts, because it makes things a little difficult, not too much, and <laughs> we just destroyed him before he could, uh, start going around again. Alright, just make sure that we are okay, we avoid Boom Boom at all costs, and, nope. Uh, come on. Yes! There we go! And we stopped the conveyor belts for taking out Boom Boom. Alright, collect the coins before they disappear. And... perfect! Let's head down the warp pipe and to the final... Conveniently misplay... Like, it's funny, the air airship levels, the endings of them are on a whole nother airship. How does that even work? Anyways... Well, obviously, the magical warp pipe system of the Mushroom Kingdom does the job. But anyways, you might have been wondering why we didn't collect a third star medal before facing off against Boom Boom. Well, instead of a one-up here on the... Oh god, what's the name of the... I always get these mixed up. Stern, Port, Bow... What? It's one of those nautical terms, is the final star medal. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's make our way up to the top and get ourselves... The Golden Flag! As well as a 1-Up! I just realized... That I never sh I never did the one second... On the third digit of the clock thing the entire time. I just realized that! And... I will be taking a break, actually. Thank you for reminding me, because this is the end of this episode of Super Mario 3D Land. So, next time, we will begin World 4. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.